Greetings, survivors and friends, Shadow Frax here, bringing you kicking and screaming into the present to present you with a present of some update news for your favourite game that's always changing. And we do have some more, actually, pretty good changes that I think you'll like for a change this week. But first, please leave me a like and a sub at some point in the vid if you think I'm worth it. And for my viewers in the UK, I have a sweet giveaway for you to enter this week. Sorry, rest of the world, but I'll get you something a bit later, I promise. Right, so, as mentioned last week, thanks to all the improvements to the game over the last few years, we've ended up with a lot more crap to try and stuff in whatever crevices are available, and especially with barbecues etc now being off limits for general tat, we find ourselves a tad oversubscribed on storage solutions. Last week's news of bigger, small and large boxes was a surprise to be store, but a welcome one. Well, that's the cupboard space at home sorted, you say, but what about actually getting your compulsive hoarder starter kit home in the first? place. What about car storage modules going from 18 slots all the way up to 48, campers going from 12 up to 18, and saddlebags doubling from 6 to 12 slots? Think that'll do it? It'll certainly help you get more junk in your trunk. Now give us backpacks! And perhaps a berry and seed pouch. Perhaps a bum bag too. Or fanny pack. Man, I hate that term. How about butt sporran? Mm. Meanwhile, elsewhere, zip lines are subject to change and getting a larger prevent build zone around them, so apologies to any of you wanting to erect things in the way and to trees wanting to grow anywhere near them. Sorry, but you were having way too much fun. As a consolation though, loot on zip line platforms is receiving a buff and here's a random sampling of what can be found on one over on the staging branch right now. Horses should also rejoice as they're getting some much deserved love this month. A fix is coming to stop them falling through the middle of ramps. Also, their idols sounds will no longer be audible to anyone outside a base they're in. Hopefully they'll stop people being able to loot gift horses in the mouth as well. Well, I'm more of an outside person anyway. On a related note, all animal idle animation cycles are getting a random offset, so instead of regimented groups of horses perfectly in sync, they should all appear to be dancing to their own internal drum kit. Quite handy, I guess, if you happen to have a few pet doggos in the same place at the same time. <coughs> Talking of which, the pet branch is still getting a lot of love. Three dogs so far have been mentioned, German Shepherds, Retrievers and Mastiffs, and it looks like taming will be as easy as equipping a harness item if I'm reading this commit correctly. Will we be able to have more than one pet at a time? Will they be able to keep up with us if we hop in a car or heli etc? Will feeding them human meat make them a bit… bitey? Stay tuned for answers as I get them. In other changes for the next patch in October, there were some fixes for wooden signs not being pick upable and the hardcore tag in the server browser not toggling. There was also a fix for an exploit with solar panels, camper barbecue output slots are going up to two, the grass shadow settings moved from experimental into graphics in the options menu, and there are some new convars. Firstly, FPS.limit in background that will reduce the client FPS cap to 15 whilst the game isn't in focus, i.e. if you you alt tab to another program like a browser for a bit. And for server admins, skip QID and remove skip Q to add and remove Steam IDs of users that you want to always be able to skip the queue. All changes made using these convars will be saved in users.cfg. In works in progress, the caboose is still on a separate branch, but here's that pick again from last week. I'd love to bring you more on this, but I can't right now, apart from saying that we are definitely getting poker and blackjack tables in it, and this interesting commit from the team regarding the boilerplate card game behind the scenes stuff, which might indicate that there will be more games in future perhaps even solitaire for solo players, presumably. Elsewhere, the ferry terminal's still being fleshed out, and this is going to be a new monument as a jumping off point for travelling between servers in the Nexus, so that is all getting closer and closer, and I'll bring you images, etc. on that as soon as I get access. And now, for my UK followers, a special giveaway from my good friends over at awdit.co.uk, because if this year's taught us anything, it's that keeping cool is number one priority, and with that in mind, there's a giveaway right now you can Enter if you're in the UK for this Corsair IQ H100i Elite LCD display 240mm all-in-one liquid CPU cooler. So if you're building, upgrading, or just fancy having it, then you should definitely use the link below to enter. Someone has to win it, and it could be you. There's nothing to lose. And I'd also like to say that you can use code SHADOWFRAX on the AWD website now for a nice little discount off any orders. You're welcome. Thanks for watching. Leave me a like, sub to me, follow me on Twitch for streams, Twitter, Friendface, Discord, and my Steam group for updates, and support me if you like through Patreon, YouTube memberships, or my merch store. Links below. I shall catch you all soon. But in the meantime, keep calm and stay rusty. Cheerio. This video is powered by AWDIT's producer range of workstation PCs, available now at awdit.co.uk.
fanny pack. 